Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we are playing Red Dead Online, and I want to discuss five more amazing, historically accurate weapons that do not currently exist in Red Dead Online, but definitely should be added. This video is a continuation of another that I produced a month or two ago that discussed several weapons. That I think should be added already. If you haven't already, I invite you to check out that video now, or after you finish this one, as it will be linked in the description. I would also like to direct your attention to the graphic currently on on screen. This is a visual aid to help show where we are in relation to my current subscriber goal. At the time of releasing this video, we are sitting at about 26,000 subscribers, which is awesome, and I am so thankful that many of you have helped me reach this point. But we still have room for improvement, and my goal is to hit 30,000 subscribers at or before September, with the ultimate goal of reaching 50,000 by the end of the year. So if you have not already, and you can, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you can watch the content I make daily. Since if you like this video, there's a good chance that you will enjoy more of what I make. But with all that out of the way, let's just dive on in and get talking about some new guns that this game sorely needs. The first gun that I want to discuss today is an older one, but it is definitely one of my favorites. We are of course talking about the Remington Model 1858 New Army. The Remington 1858 would have three variants, which would reflect the caliber of each. The first being the 31 caliber Pocket Revolver, the second being the 36 caliber Navy Revolver, and the fourth being the 44 caliber Army Revolver. The version that I would like added to the game is of course the 44 caliber or the Army version. The the Remington Revolver was a secondary supplemental issue firearm for the Union Army until the Colt Factory Fire of 1864. Due to the fire, the Colt 1860 Army was not available for some time. Subsequently, large numbers of the Remington Revolver were then ordered by the U.S. government. Samuel Remington traveled to Washington in the fall of 1861, offering to sell his revolvers to the government at a cost of $15 each, which was $10 less than what Colt was charging the Ordnance Department for its 44 caliber revolvers. Even with the reduced cost, the army by the end of March of 1862 had taken delivery from the Remington factory of only about 7,250 36 caliber revolvers and about 850 44 caliber Beals revolvers at a cost to the army of $15 each. It would see much greater use in the American West both in its original percussion configuration and as a metallic cartridge conversion, as well as around the world. The Remington Army Revolver is a single-action, six-shot percussion revolver. It is a large-framed revolver, which comes standard in 44 caliber with an 8-inch barrel. Remington percussion revolvers are very accurate and capable of considerable power with muzzle velocities in the range of 550 to 1,286 plus, feet per second, depending upon the charge loaded by the shooter. The Remington revolver owes its durability to the top strap solid frame design. The design is stronger and less prone to frame stretching than the Colt revolvers of the same era. The Remington revolver permitted easy cylinder removal, allowing a quick reload with a spare preloaded cylinder, this being a major advantage over other revolver designs of that time. This revolver was produced from 1858 to 1875 with an excess of 230,000 of them being produced and sold in the U.S. during that time. Famous users of this revolver include Buffalo Bill Cody, who used it until 1906, and of course, famous military officers such as George Armstrong Custer. I love the design, appearance, and versatility of this famous Wild West firearm, and would love to see it added into Red Dead Online as a direct competitor in performance to the Navy revolver, being similar in accuracy and damage, but a much higher reload speed, given the removable cylinder. The next weapon that I would like to talk about adding into Red Dead Online is the Gewehr 98, a German bolt-action rifle made by Mauser firing cartridges from a five-round internal clip-loaded magazine. It was the German service rifle from 1898 to 1935, when it was replaced by the Carabiner 98K, a shorter weapon using the same basic design. The Gewehr 98 action using a stripper clip loaded with the 7.92 by 57 millimeter Mauser cartridge successfully combined and improved several bolt action engineering concepts, which were soon adopted by many other countries including the UK, Japan, and the US. The Gewehr 98 replaced the earlier Gewehr 1888 as the main German service rifle. It's first saw combat in the Chinese Boxer Rebellion and was the main German infantry service rifle of World War I. The Gewehr 98 saw further military use by the Ottoman Empire and nationalist Spain. The Gewehr 98 or Model 98 rifle is a manually operated magazine-fed 
controlled feed bolt action rifle. It was approximately 1,250 millimeters in length and weighed about 4.09 kilograms or 9 pounds. It has a 740 millimeter long rifled barrel and carries five rounds of ammunition in an internal magazine. The Guerre 98 has two sling swivels, open front sights, and a curved tangent type rear sight known as the Lange Vizier. The controlled feed bolt action of the Guerre 98 is a distinct feature and is regarded as one of the major bolt action system designs. This rifle was produced from 1898, the year that this game takes place, all the way up until 1918. And in this time, roughly 9 million of these firearms were produced, making it one of the most popular and well-known rifles of the turn of the century. I think it would make an excellent addition to the game as a combat rifle with potential at both medium and long range. The next weapon I would like to discuss is the Nagant M1895 revolver, a unique revolver in many ways, the key of which being the ability to be effectively suppressed, making it a viable, quieter weapon for this game. The Nagant M1895 revolver is a seven-shot gas seal revolver designed and produced by Belgian industrialist Leon Nagant for the Russian Empire. The Nagant M1895 was chambered for the proprietary cartridge 7.62 by 38 millimeter rim and featured an unusual gas seal system in which the cylinder moved forward when the gun was cocked to close the gap between the cylinder and the barrel, providing a boost to the muzzle velocity of the bullet and allowing the weapon to be suppressed, a very unusual characteristic for a revolver. Its design would inspire the M1893 Piper Carbine and the Steyr 1893 revolver. The M1895 revolver was used extensively by the Russian Imperial Army and then later by the Soviet Union after the Russian Revolution. In Russian service, it was known for its extreme sturdiness and ability to withstand abuse. As one former Imperial Russian officer stated, if anything went wrong with the M1895, you could fix it with a hammer. It was widely employed by the Bolshevik secret service the Cheka, as well as its Soviet successor agencies, the OGPU and the NKVD. Seven Nagant revolvers were used by communist revolutionaries to execute the Russian imperial family and their servants in July of 1918. In the police role, it was frequently seen with a cut-down barrel to aid in concealment by plainclothes agents. Despite the advent of the more modern Soviet TT pistol, the M1895 remained in production and use throughout World War II. The Nagant sealed firing system meant the Nagant revolver, unlike most other revolvers, could make effective use of a sound suppressor, and suppressors were sometimes fitted to it. This weapon was produced from 1895 until 1945, and saw widespread use in Europe, seeing approximately 2 million of them produced for military, police, and civilian use. There were two different versions, one was a double action and the other single action. This gun held seven rounds and had an effective range of up to 50 yards. I would love to see this weapon added to the game, especially with the option to attach a suppressor. This gun would stand out due to its unique appearance, the ability to silence it, and the fact that it holds seven rounds. The second to last weapon that I will be discussing today is the Remington 1866 Derringer, the iconic pocket pistol slash up the sleeve gambling gun of the Wild West. Barring the Colt single action army, this gun is quite possibly the most prolific firearm in Wild West media, and I would love to see it included in Red Dead Online. The Remington Derringer, popularly known as the Remington 1866 Derringer, was manufactured from 1866 up until 1935, and is based on a patent held by William H. Elliott. Three types are distinguished by the manufacturer's stamping. Other popular names for this pistol are the Remington Double Derringer and Elliott's Over Under Derringer. The three variants of the pistol are essentially just different versions produced in different years. The first one from 1866 to 1888, the second from 1888 to 1911, and the third from 1911 to 1935. These handguns were chambered in 41 rimfire and held two rounds, and would fire in success single shot, meaning one round after the other. This gun has been seen in hundreds of movies, including, but certainly not limited to, Maverick, The Shootist, Sherlock Holmes, Django Unchained, The Mummy, and Wild Bill. This gun was most often carried in jacket pockets, strapped inside the boot, or less commonly, but certainly most interestingly, on draw slides inside the sleeve. Although certainly the least common, historically speaking, I would most enjoy this form of them entering the game. 
I think the option to have a quick draw Derringer inside your sleeve would be an epic way to deal with griefers or cheaters at the poker table, and it would certainly play into my fantasy of reenacting famous scenes from westerns like Django Unchained. In any case, I think that it's nearly a crime that this gun isn't already in the game, and Rockstar needs to rectify this wrong immediately. The final weapon that I will be discussing today is the Colt Model 1848 Percussion Army Revolver. I considered the Colt Walker, as it is a personal favorite of mine, but honestly, the Dragoon is just too cool. The Revolver is a 44 caliber revolver designed by Samuel Colt for the U.S. Army's Regiment of Mounted Rifles. The revolver also was issued to the Army's Dragoon Regiments. This revolver was designed as a solution to the numerous problems encountered with the Colt Walker. Although it was introduced after the Mexican-American War, it became popular among civilians during the 1850s and 1860s, and was also used extensively during the American Civil War. The Dragoon was produced because of the problems seen with the fielded Colt Walker revolvers, namely the Walker's heavy weight, which was about four and a half pounds, making it suitable only for use as a saddle-mounted revolver, the walker's propensity for cylinders exploding on occasion when fired due to the chambers being loaded with too much powder, often in combination with the picket bullets being loaded backwards, and the walker's habit of dropping the loading lever upon discharge, locking up the revolver action in the middle of combat. The Colt Dragoon revolver had a comparatively shorter cylinder, thus preventing overloading the cylinder, and held up to 50 grains of powder, whereas the walker has used up to 60 grains of powder. The Dragoon revolver had a shorter barrel at 7.5 inches, some later revolvers were made with 8 inch barrels, as compared to the 9 inches barrel of the Walker. A loading lever latch in front of the lever replaced the spring to keep the lever from dropping during recoil, thereby preventing jamming of the revolver. These variations made the Colt Dragoon revolver 4 pounds 2 ounces. These changes also reduced the risk of the Colt Dragoon revolver from exploding when fired, unlike the risk that had been demonstrated with the Walker revolvers. In the troublesome events that led up to the Civil War, Colt Dragoons became extremely popular. In the beginning, Colt Dragoon revolvers were issued for the U.S. Army's mounted rifles. They were carried in pommel holsters on the saddle. The Colt Dragoon revolver gained popularity among civilians in the Southwest, where many had served in the Mexican-American War. The Dragoon became a master weapon for civilians who hailed it as a powerful weapon of the time. Famous users included Joaquin Marietta, the California... California Bandit, Charlie Packhurst, a California Teamster and Stagecoach Driver, James Douglas Bird, a town marshal of Watsonville, California in 1868, Tiburcio Vasquez, and Union General George B. McClellan. And of course, there are the fictional characters of Augustus McCree from the novel Lonesome Dove, and Maddie Ross from the novel True Grit and in the 2010 film version. And of course, in the much better 1969 John Wayne version of the movie True Grit, she actually uses a Colt Walker, even though John Wayne erroneously calls it a Colt Dragoon. This revolver was produced from 1848 until 1860 when it was replaced by the Colt 1860 Army Revolver. Total production of the the Colt Dragoon pistol is about 18,500 units, so not actually that many of them were ever made. This gun had an effective range of approximately 80 yards and boasted a muzzle velocity of between 850 and 1,236 feet per second. This gun is awesome and would add some fun variation to the relatively small calibers offered in the current handguns in Red Dead Online. I would love to see this giant antique of a gun added to the game for those of us that like to roleplay as the outlaw Josie Wales or any other post-Civil War or badass with an interest in outdated firearms. But that's actually where I'm going to leave it for today, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, definitely leave a thumbs up to show me that you did. If you have any weapons that you would like to see added into the game, be sure to let me know down in the comments section so we can get a healthy discussion going. And lastly, as I said at the beginning, if you haven't already and you enjoy my content, be sure to subscribe to the channel now to help me reach my goal. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.